Hey everybody, this is Matt here. What would happen if somebody was trying to shoot you and you only had a graded VHS videotape on you? Is this enough to stop a bullet? I get this uh, question asked me every, every week. Uh, I have a, almost 15 years of experience working with plastics. I'm a plastic fabricator. I own my own business and a lot of my products are display cases for collectibles like uh, video games, videotapes, uh, action figures, all kinds of stuff. So very, very familiar working with these type of plastics that all the grading companies use. I have a lot more experience than them even with these materials. So the videotape grading industry which is somewhat relatively new still. They're using the same materials I use for my, my cases that I sell on my website. Link is in the description. Uh, it's about an eighth inch uh, acrylic cell cast. And not uh, acrylic by, by nature is not impact resistant. If you drop this, it will shatter, it'll break, it'll chip. And uh, if you've ever gotten any shit back to broken by a grading company damaged, that's why, is because acrylic's pretty pretty fragile against the impacts. Um, but again, having said that, is this still enough to stop a bullet? So here's what I did is I made two cases. This one and the one downrange there. So we're gonna test it out. So for the first scenario we're gonna pretend that the armed assailant doesn't know a whole lot about handguns and they're trying to chase you down with a 22 long rifle. This is a Mauser M20 a cheapy gun. 22s, if you don't know, are the very low, low end of the spectrum for caliber size. Very tiny bullets. Still can do a lot of damage if it hits a body. Still can be lethal. But odds are it's hard to stop somebody and put them down with a 22 caliber. But we'll see uh, how it does at least up against the videotape So I caught it on the very side because that cheap gun isn't uh, sighted real well. <laughs> but I did catch the catch it on the side here. It did go all the way through the front panel. It went through the front of the videotape. It went through the side. And then it came out the back. Um, as you can see by the location of the bullet here, it did get a square hit. I'm not sure where that hit on the the tape though. I don't know if it went through the chunkiest part of the tape, so I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try that again see if I can uh, move the point of aim over a little bit. and. There we go, that's a little better. Right through the front, right through the tape, and right out the back. So can graded VHS videotapes save your life against a wimpy 22 long rifle bullet? No, they cannot. Do not rely on that. Now people can stop asking me but I'm wondering, what about graded video games? Can they stop a bullet? That's an interesting question. We might have to revisit that. But for today, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. You know, it wouldn't be right if I left the range today, or as we call it in Arizona, the desert, without showing you guys something special we just saw what a 22 caliber would do 
stacked up against a graded VHS videotape. But just for fun, what would happen if it got shot with a 9mm? This is my fun gun. This is an H&K SP5K PDW. Extremely hard to get. Very expensive. So I kind of want to shoot it at this second tape I have. And just see what happens. No surprise, went right through it. It uh, bulged out this back panel. If you want to compare it with the 22, the 22 really didn't do any damage to the seams. Well, the seams came undone a little bit in certain spots, but in the other areas, it's still fully, fully uh, welded, which is actually even in the yeah the front is still welded together. That is actually attributed to my expertise, by the way, how well the uh, seams are actually welded. Um, that, that back piece is on pretty solid. This one, however, is uh, not so much. It is split and trying to come apart there. But yeah, so that's what a 9mm will do. And I almost matched up the bullet hole on the uh, artwork, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to display these and I'm going to give them both grades of 10. Thanks for watching.